Hi guy, it's Raze or Ethan here and I'm gonna be alone playing StarCraft 2 today and I never play that game, it's I the only thing I know it's a real time strategy game and I have no idea how to play so I'm gonna suck real bad, I'm gonna play against IE super easy and yeah let's start playing because I don't wanna play and you see me like already a little bit good I want you to see how I suck so you can actually have some fun and yeah let's go so my name is going to be Razy like normally but for character name I just confirmed it and let's go in it's Starcraft 2 attending it's the game's by Blizzard and uh, I find it uh, I had it long ago when I was like way little way more little than I am right now so I just find it in a box and I installed it right now I just open it and I just want to see how good I'm gonna be or if I remember stuff or anything the only thing I know you have three sorts uh, human I think like a weird sort of alien that's called Zergs and uh, like uh, a future alien that's like so uh, I don't know so I'm gonna read the description of each of them I'm, I'm gonna see the sort that I match today and I'm gonna try that one uh, next video another one and after another one again so uh, thanks for watching till now and let's see what we get so welcome to Starcraft a strategy game of economic and base management where you you command your armies to gain control of the battlefield and defeat your enemies you may repeat this tutorial as often as you like before leading your armies into glory in the single player campaign good luck commander and uh, tips this is a type area anytime a, a mission is loading useful tips and suggestion will appear here so uh, it's actually a really good uh, game there's actually three planets and uh, the zergs are actually controlling everyone and the two others are trying to get a rebellion right there i don't remember the names of the planets or the terrain i remember zerg and the other one so I don't know. Press uh, enter, probably. Because I don't see Welcome them actually. Welcome to the Dominion screen, Future so Commander Training here. Simulation module. Here you will learn to use our interface and issue orders to your forces. So that's begin by left clicking on a terrain. unit to select it. So let's select it. But right now, information about the selected unit is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Additionally, so the commands for this unit are displayed in the bottom right. So that's it is time to issue a command. Right click. Well done, recruit. Next, you will learn the attack move order. This is another way to instruct the Marine to move, but he will automatically attack any enemies along okay, the perfect. way. So, Give the right click like that. Please ensure you target the ground at the highlighted area sure with an attack spot. order, Commander. S8. Please ensure you target the ground at the highlighted area with so That's it, Commander. I have noted your ability the to other follow guy was basic instructions. And we're at terrain right now. The minimap will reveal an overview of the battlefield. It is located in the bottom left section of the yeah, screen. Right here. You may adjust your view of the battlefield anytime by moving your mouse to the edges of the screen. Oh, okay. so don't like Hostile units detected. I will send you additional DS. reinforcements. You can also left click the mini map to change your view of the battlefield. Left click the highlighted area on the map now to view your reinforcements. So these are actually terrain uh, basic units to help. Please use the mini map to adjust the camera's position. Okay. Very good, Commander. Your aptitude scores have exceeded the current average. Give me orders. The Dominion prizes cooperation. You may order a group of units in the same manner you would order an individual. Issue an attack move command to your marines by pressing so, the attack key. Then can't wait. I actually not got it. It's just like click on the guy. I think I got it. So your completion of this exercise has placed you in the 90th percentile of all Dominion recruits. Sure. Receiving <laughs> transmission. So sure. Command simulation Everyone's terminated. Listen up. We've got a situation that needs a commander, and you're the best recruit we've seen for months. What do you say? Ready for some field experience? For sure. Let's try. So, 
And that, I'm actually gonna try it for real this time. So that's the common center, marine basic units, terrain, the barracks, terrain produce structure, ther trains marines, commander primarily structure, trains SCV, supply, SCV, okay. So let's go. That's cool. Welcome to Taurus 4. Not my favorite planet in the sector. Some of our science officers went out looking for Protoss artifacts last week, and those eggheads haven't returned yet. It can get ugly out there. I need you to establish a base and send out a search party. Okay, perfect. Well, we're actually gonna search for Your something. Your command center's landing yeah. now. And... I kind of You're gonna need something. some SCVs to handle okay. your mining and construction. We're low on hey. Look at them go. They'll keep mining until you tell them to stop. Must think they're getting paid overtime. <laughs> Check the top right corner of your screen to see how many minerals you've stockpiled. Okay, but We're I, gonna I need more SCVs to get all the minerals we need. You can train them up at the command center. I'm going. So. You're getting the hang of this. That's SCVs take time to get ready, but you can queue up some more while we wait. We'll need 12 SCVs to mine efficiently here. I'll even set up an objective for you at the top left of your screen so you can track your progress. Don't bother thanking me. Thank you, in that case. So, let's create a, thug, a ton of them, and I don't even know how- we have seven. And that guy's coming in, uh, ready to roll. And yeah, that's gonna be our little map for this. And that's our base, that's our minerals that we actually need to get. To yeah, train some like weird, weirdos, weirdos. Good anyway, job, huh? we're training them. We're getting thing. I actually remember a couple of stuff, so I don't know where we're gonna get our green mana because there's nothing to get our green mana right here. Maybe SCB that's gonna turn ready. into one. A uh, green mana pool, this I think that's plan. how it's called. So let's right click on that friendly fire warning using attack to order on your first. Own select your command fire. center. Yes. All right. Now left-click the Train SCV button to create a new SCV. Nothing's free out here. Everyone on this base costs us a certain amount of supplies. I know. Up in the top okay. right corner of your screen, you'll see the current supply amount and its limits. Okay. Reach the limit, and we can't train anyone else. Good news is that SCVs can set up supply depots to increase our limit. Go on and order an SCV to build a supply depot. Supply, so let's get that here. Supply, so we have. I don't All right. know why. It, He'll be busy until the depot's finished. That. But after that, you can assign him a new task. So that, it's actually looking like that one to have more space for people. But I don't know why they call it supply. So that's the terrain, the human kind. Looks like that SCV's all done. That's right. Yes, yes. The, our next one, our next one. Boom! Finish what we Good. asked us. Those are all the SCVs we need. Next thing we're gonna need is a barracks to train our troops for combat. Perfect. Select an SCV and order him to start building you. one. Come on. Barracks. Set. So, why does he ask me to do exactly? I want to place it where I want to, but at least that. So, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I have a lot to tell. The graphics are uh, fr from that are not super good, but that game is like seven, uh, like more like three or four years old. So their graphics are amazing for uh, how old it is, and it's still like one of the super popular games. That's a good-looking barracks, if I say so myself. Let's start training some Marines. Okay. We'll need five of them before we push out. Your objective has been updated so you can keep track. I have five right uh, I'm gonna ask you how to do go, go, go. that because I think need it. So, yep. I think you can actually you know, put them there, down ready. so you can pass your unit. So normally you would get like a lot of them. And after you make them push down, if you can, so you can pass your units, and after up again, so that the enemies wouldn't come past uh, back there, and you just with long range 
persons there so they can attack while they are trying to break their that. So that's actually pretty easy to do. And really, really, really useful. You'll be promoted in no time if you keep this up. Let's get those Marines on the move. Time to find those missing scientists. Select your Marines. Hold on, Commander. I'm receiving some intel from our scanner suite. Oh, it's sorry. detecting Zerg biosignatures in this area. We're gonna have to be real careful with this one. Use your attack move command while exploring. Then your Marines will be on their guard if they come across enemies. Okay. But I actually see it. Uh, I can call this guy. Not that guy. Well, there's our scientists. What's left of them? I'd better let HQ know about this. Oh, Hold not. here and wait for further orders. Not really. So, that was our first one. So, let's shout out the Bastion. So, we're gonna be the Zergs, and that's actually the one I think I'm gonna be more used to. So, let's try it. Ah, a new minion. I am your broodmother. And you will serve me to the death. First, you will make the Terrans suffer for their interference on this planet. I will join you soon with reinforcements. Prepare this hive cluster for my arrival. Okay, so... The hatchery is the heart of our hive cluster. It automatically spawns new lava over time. We can then morph these lava into more useful forms. You are low on supply, and you... Yes, as your swarm grows in number, you will need to continue to morph overlords to increase your supply. So overlords are actually like our homes from before. Your hatchery has birthed more lava. Morph them into drones and we shall grow your hive cluster. You now have two lava selected. Click the morph into drone button twice to make... Good. Drones harvest resources and mutate into structures according to our needs. So these are like the workers. Their workers. Sorry for that. If you are to conquer this planet, you will require an army. But before you can create one, you will need a spawning pool. Order a drone to mutate into one now. So that's actually weird because they don't create one, they Suicide into a one. drone into a like structure that. is permanent. That's actually Remember to morph more drones to account for this loss. So I actually need to make a drone because I just lost the drone, and that's why I, that's the only thing that I don't like about that sort of play. Okay. That spawning pool looks noxious and fetid. Good. Now morph your lava into zerglings. Well, Zerglings. They're the basic attack force of... Each lava will become two zerglings. Their strength comes from their numbers. Whew. That's weird. So, the only... There's like two bad sides about it. They're Now disgusting. I shall instruct you how to morph more advanced minions. But to do so, you will require Vespin gas. Ah, there is a Vespin geyser nearby. Excellent. First, you must order a drone to morph into an extractor above the geyser. I tried to do that. Now that's the uh, thing that I said last time. Like, Once that is finished, gas. other drones will be able to harvest gas from it. Yeah. So I think this time we're only gonna do like the choose the choice of my class. After I'm gonna deploy my class. You will require three drones to harvest Vespin gas from the extractor efficiently. Yes. The 
amount of gas you have gathered is shown in the top right corner. You are ready to strengthen your brood. A roach warren will allow you to morph stronger creatures. Okay, so I need to make that to make stronger creatures that actually. I see that. your mind is also evolving. Did she just say my mind is evolving? That's weird and she's creepy. Boy. So, we're actually the bad guys right now. That's what I hate about it. That there's like two bad sides about that class. You suicide to create a creation structure. They're disgusting and they're creepy and they're the bad guys. So four sides. So create that and I actually gonna need to Oh. Oh. Okay, so I actually that here here. How much does she want me to do? Okay, so that was actually the accident that I made. I know, I am trying to make a Some more overlords. Oh. I don't want to do you. Uh, that, that's uh, really creepy. So, I don't want to make those. That's how they look. That's so cute. Not really. They look like that. You look like how? Oh my god. You don't look like you look actually. So, I'm supposed to make those. Finally, I'm able to. You have enough lava to morph more roaches. Do not waste time. How am I wasting time? It's like so a uh, game that you actually need to hurry up so bad. Like your heart. So that's them. <laughs> they look so weird. So what do you want me to do for that? Roaches are bred to absorb damage. Their fortitude will help you conquer this world. I don't care about this world, honestly. All I want is to win. You are ready to command my brood. Do not disappoint me. That's a lot of fun. Like that. That's awesome, but not really. Select your forces and lead them to victory. Have to select the army. Let the Terrans tremble before us. That's actually our army, so let's do. I hate that. <laughs> Can we just kill like the one? Fight on! Yeah, we Bring their base to ruin! That's sad. Oh, hey. <laughs> the base that I just bought, uh, uh, did. I need to destroy it? That's weird. Finish them! Destroy their base! That's right! No, this is the 21st Assault Division on Taurus 4. We are under attack by the Zerg. Do you read me? Immediate evac requested. We need The Zerg have claimed this world and all of it. At least. So the last one. Let's try it. Heed me, warriors. We have intercepted a Terran distress signal from Taurus 4. The Zerg have invaded the planet. We shall not let this stand. We must eradicate the enemy at once. Is that serious? Yeah. I'm killing what I just did? Again? They are crazy, those map creators. I just the did Terry that. The transmission originated at these coordinates. It appears their warriors have already been infested by the Zerg. We must give them peace in death. Please. 
are you? Our forces are protected by their shields. They will regenerate quickly unless they take further damage. We have to go further. I must know how far the Zerg infestation is spread. King. We move unseen. Very well. Oh, man. It is as I feared. This world is consumed. I shall need the Golden Armada's aid to cleanse it. We will soon be outnumbered by the Zerg. We must fall back to safety. For now. For now. Our stalker should be able to cross the debris. My These structures were abandoned long ago. But we can reactivate them and hold here until the Armada arrives. For the reckoning. Our gateways need a pylon to power them. Order a probe to warp in a pylon nearby. So we need a pylon. Left click the ground. Power. Pylons will power any nearby structures so and provide supply for our forces. Our probes are highly are efficient. We can reassign them to other uh, tasks destroyed. after they have initiated the warp process. The gateways are now active. Let us use them to warp in zealots. So you just warp, you don't create. That's actually cool, but. You have not yeah. enough minerals. Uh, yeah, she see the mirror up there. I don't see it. That's it. My life for I am. I am the heart of darkness. My life for I am. Okay, and this is actually a great iron. place too. Okay, that's weird, but. You see on the minimap right there that we were there as Theron after we created the Zerg and after we're them. Until now, I think Zerg is Excellent. We now have enough zealots. But we cannot withstand the fight ahead without additional stalkers. We will require a cybernetics core in order to warp them in. Cybernetics core is that actually real. Really Fine work. Stalkers will help us put an end to those deserts. I like that they work stuff, man. Yeah? I like their machine, how they look. But I still don't know their fight style, so we're gonna see. It's actually more shoot they go in, so I think that's gonna be my fight style, but let's see. Well done. Initiate warp sequences for the stalkers at our gateways. They don't sacrifice. Happy me. <laughs> That's a little weird. I was saying, like, happy me. Anyway, I'm happy that we don't sacrifice anymore. I think I'm gonna choose that class. So, but they are actually, I've seen people play that class, and it's actually the hardest class to play. This one you need to have real quick reflexes, and this one is the normal class. You need a lot of shots. We have enough stalkers to proceed, but we must still be cautious, brothers. The Zerg approach our nexus point. Warriors, ready your blades! The enemy is breaking through! We must hold! And that's one of the two guns. Your bravery has brought us victory, my warriors. The Golden Armada has arrived! Golden Armada? That's a lot of... We are the swarm! Numberless! Merciless! Initiating mass recall! Weaklings! You retreat in the face of battle! No! We strike as one! Oh, that's... That's... They are just awesome. Like, too awesome. 
So that's my class, and uh, I don't want to revive. I want to exit this. Like I just did that. I don't know. That. So these are my class, not because they're cooler. I think they made it so they are cooler, and they are even the intro face. They're pretty much everywhere, but they're my class, and they're the hardest one to play. So we're actually gonna play them. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye to you and see you next time and I think I'm gonna upload two video of them and yeah so goodbye till